how to find the series and parallel resistance of a circuit. So here I've drawn a circuit that's in series and parallel. So we're going to start off with uh, this parallel circuit first. So let's find what the resistance is first of this, uh, this part of the circuit. So here is the formula you use if you want to solve for uh, resistors in parallel. So there's actually there's actually a couple, but I'm going to use. Uh, well, I'll show you two. So we have one over the resistance in parallel is equal to one over this is R two R two plus one over R three, which is this guy right here. You could also use if you have two resistors, only two resistors in parallel. You can use this formula, which is the resistance in parallel is equal to, in this case, it's going to be R2 and R3. So it's R2 times R3 over R2 plus R3. And let's work these both out to show you that you get the same answer. So 1 over RP, which is the resistance, resistance in parallel is equal to 1 over R2. R2 is 4 ohms, so this is 1 over 4 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms. Uh, so here you want to have a common denominator, so the common denominator between these would be 12. So for this one, to turn this one into 12, you'd multiply this by 3 and the top by 3. So this is going to be 3 over 12 plus here you'd multiply the top and the bottom by 2 so you're going to get 2 over 12 <clears throat> now if we add these together you're going to get uh, 2 plus 3 is 5 so you're going to get 5 over 12 is equal to 1 over RP or the resistance in parallel so now let's uh, well let's completely finish it off so, but you can't, this isn't actually the resistance in parallel because it's 1 over the resistance in parallel is equal to 5 over 12. So we need to flip these. And when you flip them, you're going to get 1. Actually, you're going to get the resistance in parallel is equal to 12 over 5, which that's the resistance in parallel will be equal to 2.4 ohms. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now let's try this other formula. So... Let's see, the resistance in parallel is equal to R2. R2 was uh, 4 ohms. We're going to multiply it by R3, which was 6 ohms. That's going to be over R2, which was 4 ohms, plus R3, which was 6 ohms. So 6 times 4 is 24. 4 plus 6 is 10. So 24 divided by 10, that's going to give you the resistance in parallel is equal to 2.4 ohms. And that's how you would get uh, just the resistance right here. But that's not the total resistance of this circuit. So right now we're going to solve for the total resistance. So um, if I redrew this circuit with its equivalent circuit, it would look like this. I would have R1, which was equal to 6 ohms. And then we would have the resistance, this new one, which I'm going to represent by a square, as a resistance in parallel, which is the one we just solved for. Uh, right here. So, <coughs> uh, where's here we go. So here's R1, and we just wrote it down there. And these two, R2 and R3, are the ones that we solved for. These are going to be, here it is, RP is just 2.4. So RP right here is just going to be equal to 2.4 ohms. So in order to get the total resistance, well, we would have to add these two um, resistors. So here, the total resistance, which actually since these are in series, you can just add them because resistors in series are just additive. So here we would have R1 plus the resistance in parallel. Resistance in parallel. And so R1 is equal to 6 ohms plus the resistance in parallel, which was 2.4 ohms. So you're going to get a total of 8.4 ohms. That is what our, the total resistance of the circuit is equal to. And that's how you would solve that problem. So 
I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it, and uh, good luck in your classes.